Hello people, salut les gens. Welcome, Jeltes here. Hope you guys are doing good today. So, a, a little arrow forest video. So this is for the less experienced players. Uh, the more experienced players, you won't be learning much here in this video. It's just to show how to craft arrows, so let's get right down to it. Let me just grab one here. Uh, it took me some time to understand the simple com combine option, I want to say. Um, so yeah, I, th I noticed that a weapon, I thought I, I had a weapon there, but... So, uh, you know, when I first wanted to craft arrows, so you need five leaves, one stick to craft one arrow, but if you want fire arrows, you need booze. If you want poisoned arrows, you need twin berries. They are the blackberries, like an arc, the narco berries. You pick them up with your pouch, and you're all set with four of them to make poisoned arrows. Uh, arrows. So you can put as many arrows as you want. All you need is one booze to get the job done. Same thing with the narcos. You only, it's not one booze or four berries per arrow, luckily. Hope that's not a glitch. I hope that's a thing. Because if you need one bottle for each arrow, I mean, it's going to take some time to gather uh, fire arrows. So here we are. Let's make a fire arrows arrow. And this is where I got stuck a bit for a couple minutes. Is that you, so you got your arrow, bone arrow, you got your arrows, air fire arrow crafted. You think you're all set. So you select your bone arrow as you can see your arrow is red like a fire arrow so you think okay now all I have to do is light it take out your lighter and he doesn't want to light it so what you, the simple thing is you got to do is you got to set your bow in modes so your bow can be in a regular mode can be in poison mode or fire mode so let's set it in fire mode you got to put them together beam bam boom and now as you can see the bow is in fire mode so now you can take your red arrow and light it. Took me a couple couple minutes to understand that. Uh, but yeah. So there we go. Now you're all set to shoot. Well, kind of rebound. And if you only have one arrow, normally it sticks to the... Uh, it sticks... Oh my god, I didn't think that was... That crack is huge. <laughs> it seems like it's getting bigger and bigger. I don't know why. <laughs> But yeah, also, if you don't have any more arrows on you, your bow and arrow is set to always have an arrow even though you don't have any arrows to shoot. So if you th your last arrow fired was a fire arrow, he will reset one. It won't turn off like, th or you know, uh, yeah, turn off like the other ones do. Uh, you know, it's like 50, they last maybe 15 seconds or something. So you got 15 seconds to take your fire shot. But since you have no more arrows, well, this one will stay forever, and it provides light, as you can see, so that's a good thing to know. Um, so yeah, it was just to show you that. I also noticed that if you, if you put, let's say, regular arrows, poisoned arrows, and then fire arrows, if you um, save your game, end your game, go back to the desktop, and relaunch your game, sometimes it will work, sometimes it won't, so I don't recommend it. Uh, it's kind of like when you put a cloth on your axes or your stick and then you reload your game, the cloth will always be gone. I also tried to put a cloth on the stick and then hanging up there, reload the game and the cloth was gone. So unfortunately, you want you don't want to set yourself uh, all ready to fight when you're about to quit the game, obviously. Fire arrows or poisoned arrows? Poisoned arrows are cool if you aim well. And uh, depending, it's always it always depends on which uh, which cannibal or savage or whatever you want to call them, others like in Lost. It always depends which other you have in front of you. Uh, you can one shot others, but uh, the, the tougher ones you won't be able to one shot them, whether it's in the head or not. Uh, and also. What's apparently unfortunate is when you, uh, when they're doing their little charge animation or any animation, and you shoot them, 
sometimes it goes through, unfortunately. But you know, the game's in development, and with all the glitches and bug I just showed you will probably be fixed eventually as well. But I do prefer actually the fire arrows because the difference is fire arrows will set the enemy on fire whether you sh shoot him in the head or not, and will take care of him for a while so you can you know concentrate on other enemies. The poison arrows will hurt him more and I mean will hurt will keep hurting him. He'll keep it's like if you keep punching him every 10 seconds, but he's still active and still able to kick your butt. So, but if he falls on the floor, it'll keep him down and keep hitting him because he's poisoned. So, you know, they're both good, but I just think the fire arrows look cooler, provide light during night, sets them on fire, and uh, for me, as the way I see it, and the way I know the arrows for now, which is not much, I prefer the fire arrows. So, yeah, I hope this little video helped you guys to... Oops, sorry, little bug there. Hope this video helped you guys to understand how to craft them a bit more, especially the people that are beginning at the game. And uh, yeah, so see you on the next video, guys. Uh, I'd appreciate it, like if it helps you. And uh, yeah, take care, guys. See you on the next one. Have fun. And uh, Jelta's out.